Hello students, welcome to class and welcome to my channel Chori Maths. I'm going to be working out this question in a very interesting way. So what do I do? Let's start this way. Let x be equals to 1 minus root of 5 over 2. Okay, I'm doing this because I want to reduce the ambiguity of the question so that at the end of the day, all I'm looking for is x raised to power 9. So I'll manipulate to get an expression that will fit in to solve this question at once. So the next thing I'll do with this is to multiply, cross multiply. So that I'm going to have 2x will now be equals to 1 minus root of 5. I'm looking for x raised to the power 9. So the next thing to do is to cross, to, sorry, is to um square both sides now to square both sides it will be better if i take this one down to this side so i'm gonna have 2x minus 1 is equals to minus root of 5 on squaring both sides this is raised to power 2 and this is raised to power 2 so what happens is that this becomes 2x minus 1 right into 2x minus 1 close the bracket is equals to 5 why because this cancels this and the square of a negative number is positive now expanding it i'm going to have 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 is equals to 5 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 minus 5 is equals to 0 this is 4x squared minus 4x minus 4 is equals to 0. Now, the next is, why not let me divide all through by 4. Okay. The expression will now reduce to x squared minus x minus 1 is equals to zero now recall you see there is this statement we made we say let x be equals to one minus root of five all over two then it means that we are looking for x raised to power nine hmm. so what does that mean do you know that x raised to power nine can actually be written as x raised to power four okay sorry uh, yeah x raised to power four but let me just make it let me start this way x raised to the power 2 times x raised to the power 2 times x raised to the power 2 times x raised to the power 2 then times what? x. This is the same thing as x raised to the power 4 times x raised to the power 4 times x. And it's the same thing as x raised to the power 8 times x. So it means if I can have an expression for x squared, then I can now have an expression for x raised to the power 4 and I'll have expression for x raised to power 8, thereby making it simpler for me to solve. So what I'll do is I'll pick the expression x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0, so that I will have x squared will be equals to x plus 1. You see, now I have expression for x squared. So we've started now. Now, let me go to find expression for x raised to power 4. You know that x raised to power 4 is x raised to power 2, all raised to power 2. And we can see that x raised to power 2, that is x squared, is equal to x plus 1. So therefore, x raised to power 4 will be x plus 1, all raised to power 2. Expanding it, I'm going to have x plus 1 down into x plus 1, which will now be x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay. But we are not done yet. So x raised to power 4 will actually be instead of x squared, we know x squared is x plus 1. So what I will have will be x plus 1 plus 2x plus 1. Therefore, I'm going to have 
3x plus 2 as my expression for x raised to power 4. x raised to power 4. So I have an expression for this. Now the next thing is, can I get expression for x raised to power 8? That is the next issue. x raised to power 8. Now x raised to power 8 is actually x raised to power 4 all raised to power what? 2. Which will now be 3x plus 2 all raised to power 2. Then let's expand. 3x plus 2 down into 3x plus 2. What will it give us? This should be 9x squared plus 6x plus 6x plus 4, which will be 9x squared plus 12x, then plus 4. Of course, this is an expression for x raised to the power 8. But recall that x squared is what? Let's go down. x squared is x plus 1. So it therefore means that this is going to be 9 into, I will have x plus 1 as my x squared, okay? Then this is plus 12x, then plus 4. Expanding it, x raised to the power 8 will now be 9x plus 9 plus 12x plus 4. This should be 13 plus 21x. So that is, an ex that is the expression for x raised to the power 8. Now, but recall we are looking for what? x raised to the power 9 x raised to the power 9 is x raised to the power 8 times x. Therefore, x raised to the power 9 will be 13 plus 21x all times x. So, expressing it, we are going to have 13x plus 21x squared. Again, we know that x squared is x plus 1. Hence, x raised to the power 9 will now be seen as 13x plus 21 into x plus 1, which will now be 13x plus 21x plus 21. Okay. So, x raised to the power 9 will be 13x plus 21x. That should be 34x plus 21. But recall from the beginning, we said let... Um, okay, let me come down. Okay, look at it. Let x be equals 1 minus root of 5 over 2. So, we we'll now move to say that x is actually 1 minus root of 5 over 2. Then let's replace x. So x raised to the power 9 will be 34 into 1 minus root of 5 all over 2 plus 21. Okay? So therefore, 2 here 1 and 2 here 17. So x raised to the power 9 is 17 into 1 minus root of 5 plus 21. This will be 17, okay, minus 17 root of 5 plus 21. So x raised to the power 9 will be 38, 38 minus 17 root of 5. So I have expanded it. What it means is x raised to the power 9 is the same thing as saying 1 minus root of 5 all over 2 all raised to power what? 9. And of course it is 38 minus 17 root of 5. 
Thank you so much. I want to believe you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more interesting videos.